When we review a public agency's employment-based documents, including personnel policies, MOUs, and employment and settlement agreements, we often find that these documents include arrangements that result in unexpected tax consequences, exposing public agencies to potential tax liability. Understanding and identifying some of the more common tax traps provides public agencies with an opportunity to correct these arrangements before state and federal taxing authorities initiate an employment tax audit. A key doctrine underlying many of the tax traps facing the unwary public agency is a constructive receipt doctrine. In general terms, it holds that whenever an employee is given a choice between a non-taxable benefit and a taxable benefit, the employee is deemed to have chosen the taxable benefit even if the non-taxable benefit is chosen. A classic example of the application of this doctrine is providing employees a choice between continuing to accrue leave and cashing out accrued leave absent an unforeseeable emergency. Employees are deemed to have elected the cash out as soon as they become eligible to make the choice. Correction of this inadvertent tax consequence can be accomplished in one of two ways either by eliminating the choice and making the cash out mandatory or by requiring that the election to cash out be made before the leave has accrued. Another common arrangement that could trigger adverse tax consequences is providing employees a choice between health benefits and cash in lieu of health benefits. Unless the choice is made available under a cafeteria plan, either option, not just the cash, becomes taxable. While the solution is straightforward, it is imperative for an employer to ensure that its cafeteria plan is in compliance with federal rules, including that it not offer non-qualified benefits, such as allowing contributions to a deferred compensation plan. Agreements documenting the settlement of employment-based disputes are another area that is filled with tax traps. While the common practice has been to treat the settlement as a non-wage payment both to encourage the settlement and to facilitate the public agency's reporting obligations, the IRS has successfully challenged this practice. The tax consequences to the public agency could be severe, resulting not only in the assessment of penalties and interest, but more importantly, in liability for all employment taxes, including the employee's income tax and the employee's share of payroll taxes, in addition to the employer share. Therefore, it is imperative that public agency employers carefully consider the tax consequences of a payment in negotiating and documenting a settlement agreement. Resolving these issues in advance of an audit by a taxing authority could save a public agency a lot of time and a lot of money.